Got a little presentation I wanted to share with you from the physicist. Does a common impact show evidence of a brown dwarf star at the sun's south pole? Physicist thoughts. They have lots of thoughts. Do you? Let's begin. All right. On March 3rd, 2017, uh, a comet approached the sun. Figure one below shows the stereo A core two images in which we can see the comet approaching the sun from the five o'clock position. The comet seems brighter in the first three images in figure one than in the last image from 2109. Since comets are not supposed to get dimmer as they approach the sun, it is likely that something caused that comet to emit less light or something potentially blocked the light emitted by the comet. I'll actually put a link below for the little bit of a video that we capture. I just thought it was a cool little uh, comet strike. I didn't really think anything of it. Since, uh, okay, I apologize. Let's go ahead and continue. This suggests that there may be a cloud of some gaseous material that interacted with the comet, thus decreasing the charge exchange from the solar wind, which leads to the brightness of the comet's coma. Otherwise, there may be a diffuse cloud of material in the region of the sun that the comet reaches at 2109, which blocks some of the light emitted by the comet. Figure one, stereo A core two images of space around the sun from March 3rd, 2017 at 15, 54, 1709, 1909, and 2109. The comet is seen approaching the sun at the five o'clock position. The comet gets fainter in the last image. A little blue arrow indicates the comet's position in the first image. Figure two, stereo A, core two images of the area around the sun from March 3rd, 2017 at 2209 and 2354. The comet continues to approach the sun, but gets even fainter. In the 2354 image, the comet is at the edge of the occulter black disc blocking the sun and it's indicated by a blue arrow. Interesting. The comet even gets fainter in the images shown in figure two below. Well, above rather. And the second image in figure two from March 3rd, 2017 at 2354, the comet is even fainter than in the first image in figure two and it's indicated again by a blue arrow. Also, the comet seems to have reached the region close to the sun, which is at the edge of the occulter. Figure three below shows the 2354 image again, as well as the next available image, which is from nine minutes on February 4th, 2017. There's a profound difference in the two images suggesting that the comet actually made impact. Now notice that in the left image in figure three, there is a rounded black area below the sun indicated by a yellow arrow. The black rounded shape is gone in the right image from 15 minutes later. This shows that the black rounded shape is not a permanent part of the imaging system, but it is evidence of something that absorbs light being below the sun. This black area could be an area of dense ionized gas that does not emit light. Figure three, stereo A core two images of the, uh, excuse me, area of the sun from March 3rd, 2017 at 2354 and March 4th, 2017 at nine minutes. The comet's tail is still faintly perceptible, starting from the edge of the occulter, black disc blocking the sun and indicated by purple arrows. The yellow arrow indicates the black rounded area below the sun and in the left image, which is gone from the right image. The blue arrow indicates an intensely bright area below the sun. In the left image in figure three, we see an intensely bright area under the sun. This suggests that there was a type of explosion in this area, which is an approximate area where the comet should have passed on its way to the sun. The sun does, however, sometimes send out CMEs, coronal mass ejections, in the direction of the comets. To see if this is what happened here, we need to look at the subsequent images. Figure four shows these subsequent images from March 4th, 2017. 
Notice that there is no sign that the sun is sending out a CME and no plasma is seen to be moving around the, or away, excuse me, from the sun. Instead, the bright area indicated a possible explosion that stays contained to the same area. This suggests that the possible explosion that happened at this location, which is still some distance from the surface of the sun. For an explosion to happen at this location below the sun, there had to be something there for the comet to impact, excuse me. Notice that the intensely bright area is in approximately the same position as the dark rounded area had been. Therefore, the two are most probably related and indicated or indicate the presence of an object below the sun. Excuse me. Since the object looked like a black mass, here it comes. With the sun's brightness as a background, it is likely to be the ionized, ionized gas cloud around a brown dwarf star. And the intensely bright area was probably due to an explosion somewhere in the ionized cloud around the surface of the star's core. The explosion must have had made this area visible. Stereo A core 2, so this is figure 4, images of the area around the sun from March 4, 2017 at 24 minutes, 39 minutes, 59 minutes, 109, 124, 139, 154. An intensely bright area suggests an explosion that's seen below the sun where the black rounded area has been or had been. Interplanetary space around the sun seems darker than usual and all the images are much uh, darker than usual in the 39 minute and one minute and 39, or excuse me, one hour and 39 minute images. Notice from figure four, that the interplanetary space around the sun is darker after the apparent explosion. Again, I'll put the link below. It looks like the whole camera freaks out as soon as that comet hits below the sun. Notice from figure four that the interplanetary space around the sun is darker after the apparent explosion below the sun. And in the second and sixth images in figure four, this space looks much darker, okay? This may be, maybe due to the sun reacting to the explosion on the object below the sun, this may be due to the sun reacting to the explosion on the object below, below the sun. This may be due to the sun reacting to the explosion on the object below the sun. This suggests that the greatly reduced, that the sun actually had greatly reduced its light emission after the explosion and this reduction was even more drastic at the times where the second and sixth images in figure six were taken. Thus there appears to be a brown dwarf star below the sun and this brown dwarf star seems to have appeared in that position in 2015 where the dark rounded shape appeared in core two images. Figure five below shows stereo A core two images of the sun. The first image is from August 18, 2014 at 2354 and appears on the left. The second image is from November 17, 2015 at 1009 and appears on the right. The black object does not appear in the left image, but it does appear in the right image. The right image was the first image available from the Core 2 coronagraph since August of 18th, 2014. It is likely that the brown dwarf star arrived at its current position below the sun on that day at, or during that time interval, and that the sun's response to such an event led to a shutdown or at least an apparent shutdown of the data feed from the instrumentation. Figure 4. Stereo A core two images from August 18th, 2014, excuse me, at 2354 on the left and from November 17th, 2015 at 1009 on the right. The dark circular outline is visible in the right image, but not on the left image. Figure five, images of the sun provided by SETCHI, stereo B, EUVI detector in, in excuse me, in the 30.4 nanometer wavelength on February 25th, 2007. 729, 2017, 20, and 1820. An approximate trajectory of the object passing in front of the sun can be deduced from these images. Another piece of corroborating uh, evidence as to the presence and position of a brown dwarf at the sun's south pole is the trajectory, followed by an object that passed in front of the sun on February 25th, 2007. Images of this event are showed in figure five below. From these images, the object's trajectory can be deduced. This trajectory then suggests that the object around which the object passed in front of the sun is associated with has to be a brown dwarf star, and it is at the position shown in figure six, which is close to the sun's south pole. 
Okay, trajectory object would have to follow if it had moved in a straight line, okay? The object's real trajectory, brown dwarf star likely position, boom. Figure five, illustration of the trajectory followed by object passing in front of the sun on February 25th, 2007, and the likely position of the brown dwarf star that's associated with it at the time. In conclusion, the explosion created by the comet close to midnight, UTC, on March 3rd, 2017, it was actually at, at nine minutes, revealed that there is an object below the sun, which is probably or most potentially a brown dwarf star. The close proximity of the brown dwarf star to the sun may explain why the sun has so weakened in the last few years. Thanks again, Chris Potter. I appreciate you watching and subscribing. Have a great day. Got a little presentation I wanted to share with you from the physicist. Does a common impact show evidence of a brown dwarf star at the sun's south pole? Physicist thoughts. They have lots of thoughts. Do you? Let's begin. All right. On March 3rd, 2017, uh, a comet approached the sun. Figure one below the strike. I didn't really think anything of it. Since, uh, okay, I apologize, let's go ahead and continue. This suggests that there may be a cloud of some gaseous material that interacted with the comet, thus decreasing the charge exchange from the solar wind, which leads to the brightness of the comet's coma. Otherwise, there may be a diffuse cloud of material in the region of the sun that the comet reaches at 2109, which blocks some of the light emitted by the comet. Figure one. Stereo A core 2 images of space around the sun from this shows the stereo A core 2 images in which we can see the comet approaching the sun from the 5 o'clock position. The comet seems brighter in the first three images in figure 1 than in the last image from 2109. Since comets are not supposed to get dimmer as they approach the sun, it is likely that something caused that comet to emit less light or something potentially block the light emitted by the comet. I'll actually put a link below for a little bit of a video that we capture. I just thought it was a cool little uh, comet. March 3rd, 2017 at 15, 54, 1709, 1909, and 2109. The comet is seen approaching the sun at the five o'clock position. The comet gets fainter in the last image. A little blue arrow indicates the comet's position in the first image. Figure two, stereo A, core two images of the area around the sun from March 3rd, 2017 at 2209 and 2354. The comet continues to approach the sun, but gets even fainter. In the 2354 image, the comet is at the edge of the occulter, black disc blocking the sun, and it's indicated by a blue arrow. Interesting. The comet even gets fainter in the images shown in figure two below. Well, and above rather. And the second image in figure two from March 3rd, 2017 at 2354, the comet is even fainter than in the first image in figure two. And it's indicated again by a blue arrow. Also, the comet seems to have